Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we are not going to talk about automation testing, but we are going to talk about one of the new system or a new beast or a mini beast that I bought exclusively for automation testing and the videos which I'm making and also for the tech research that I'm doing almost all the time with different companies and with different people. And this is nothing but my new Mac M1 powered uh, machine that I bought just after the announcement from Apple like last month. So if you remember, Apple announced a machine on the one more thing event on November 10. And it was a very exciting event because Apple launched many things this year. But this was the machine which I was really excited after hearing about. I mean, the exterior looks pretty much exactly the same thing. You might have seen a lot of uh, the uh, like unboxing event and things of that nature but i don't really want to do any unboxing event because i don't really have any great camera to show you an unboxing things or something like that but i was very excited with the processor or the m1 enabled powered processor which apple has decided to uh, put into this machine which has been developed for more than a decade which is almost sitting within our um, within our iphones or the watches or the ipads this machine is really really cool so i ordered exactly like two days after the november 10 event and then i'm just waiting for this machine to ship to me uh, to new zealand and it's been like three or three and a half weeks that it shipped me to my door and i was pretty excited because it has so many cool things and you might have already know about all these things but i just wanted to make a video because i am going to create a series just exclusively to cover the M1 powered machine with all the softwares which it supports, which is required for automation testing, like Visual Studio Code or Selenium, Appium, Visual Studio Xamarin, or all the different software that we use for our automation testing. I am gonna be creating videos exclusively for the M1 enabled processor. So I thought, why not just make a, a introduction video of the M1 before I start uh, creating a videos just exclusively for this guy. So if you don't know about this M1 processor, the M1 is the first 5 nanometer chip which is uh, sitting on a personal computer which has also been announced for the Apple 12 uh, iPhone. So, I mean, Apple uh, 12 iPhone which was introduced uh, this year was not very exciting for me because I've been using this, uh, this iPhone 10 for more than 3 years and this guy is pretty fast. I mean, it just works pretty much exactly as expected and it is really, really cool. So, I don't really need to replace that as well. But the 5 nanometer chip for the phone was amazing but for the device like this personal computers this is first time and it is pretty cool to see it has all the powers which is required for for anybody and i have been using this for like three or four days now and it is pretty amazing i mean i have not even charged even a single time you can see that the brick i have uh, for the charging i have not even used it so far and it's pretty cool that i still have 50 percent of battery in it this particular Mac has got like 16 billion transistors. So this is the first processor which has got like eight CPU cores in which there are four high performance CPU core and four high efficiency CPU cores. So this high performance CPU core are the world's fastest uh, CPU cores at the moment in the in the personal computer uh, in a single core uh, benchmark if you would have seen on the internet and it has got eight GPU cores and it has 16 core neural engines for machine learning and artificial intelligence so almost everything which is required is sitting in a uh, in a single SOC or a, or a system on chip like that so SOC so that's what they call so I mean I don't really want to go into the technical details of this M1 because there are so many videos available just exclusively on the M1 and you have a lot of unboxing comparison videos with the Intel processors and stuff but I'm pretty excited to have this machine with me and I already have a Apple 15 inch uh, 2000 early 2018 model and I mean that machine is pretty good but this machine is pretty awesome than uh, compared to any other machine I have got and it is super faster than compared to all the machine I have got because they are pretty old as well like two three years old uh, but I have seen the benchmark that comparatively this machine is pretty faster than all the machines that is available on the on this cost price uh, I mean it's comparing with uh, the latest version of the Intel uh, based uh, Macs and it's faster than that even though it uses the the transition layer which is something but the Rosetta 2 uh, to convert all the Intel based application into the M1 uh, 
but still it doesn't feel like it because I'm using my office uh, in it and I'm also using Visual Studio Codes and stuff. It is pretty faster. I'm gonna create some videos on Visual Studio Code installation and the new Visual Studio Code ARM based um, uh, software which can run on M1, stuff like that. So we'll cover all those things in our upcoming videos. But, but other than that, this is an amazing piece of, uh, piece of machine that I have got. Just wanted to share with you all. Thank you.